Hey everybody, Lauren Doyle here again, your trust your gut teacher in all things intuitive development for business, personal growth, and relationships. So I wanted to answer the question that someone had about emptiness. So I talked a few days ago about uh, emptiness and how heavy energy or darker energy leaves you with an empty feeling like a black hole, right? Um, so emptiness is really, uh, blah, blah, blah. how do I want to say this? It gives you the gnawing desire to want to fill it. So when you have that empty feeling, you know it because you just feel like something's lacking and there's, there's a void that wants to be filled. So when people have been operating in heavy, heavier, I'm going to call it heavier energy for a while, it's very apparent, right? Because they're doing all these things to fill the void. So they're doing, you know, they're, they're, um, you know, they're eating foods in a decon, you know, a destructive way. Um, maybe they're trying to fill the void with like drugs or smoking or drinking or cocaine or whatever, something to numb them out. So, or something to like give them hyper energy so they can get stuff done. Like there's, they're trying to fill the void and, um, you know, whether it's, it's TV or, you know, masturbating or sleeping all the time. I mean, all of these things are, are done to fill a void. So that's not to say that all this stuff is like wrong and you can't do any of these things. I mean, well, some of them you probably don't, shouldn't do, but, um, but the, the difference is when it's done to fill the void. And so you'll see that people who have been operating that for a lot of like, for a long time, you can see it in them. You can feel it around them. There is just something that like is draining about being around them. Um, and, and even though they may be, and they most times are good people, um, they're, they're that void, um, starts to express itself in, in, in ugly ways, right? And so there's the desire to fill it. There's also, you know, the emotions that are attached to it are darker, heavier emotions, whether that's anxiety, depression, anger, hatred, jealousy, you know, all of those are operations in darker energy. So when there is that void, there's that something missing or something is happening that's not in lightness, you know, there's something happening that's, and it may not even have to do with you. Like you could be interacting with a person, let's say in relationships, who's they're operating on a void. You're then pulled into it and you're trying to fill that void for them, right? And so they kind of suck you into their world and that's what it does. You know, when you look at a black hole, that's what it does. It's, it sucks and absorbs light into it and it becomes nothing and it's a void. And uh, so, so another person, a connection with another person, because our connections to each other are truly an energetic connection. We're all connected to the same network. And, uh, you know, if you're connecting to that person on a deeper level, their void can, can suck the life out of you and become a void for you. Um, so that emptiness is, is what, you know, intuitive growth and that self-discipline and, and creating those, those new habits. That's what that's connected to, because you have to start with identifying what those negative habits are essentially to then create the self-discipline needed to get started on the light and bright intuitive path. You have to identify where that emptiness is coming from or like what are the cruxes for that emptiness 
and then start to address those, then develop some self-discipline for new self-discipline based habits like the five daily disciplines like I talk about, then you can move forward in that lighter, brighter energy and you're on your intuitive path. Shall we say, shall we say, if I can talk. So hope that helps. Like I say every time. And if you want to explore deeper for yourself, you can schedule a private session with me through the link below and we can find all the things that are keeping you stuck and help develop some tools to help you live your life a whole lot lighter and brighter and on your intuitive path. So be sure to click that link if you want to do that. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Bye.